Find the coordinates of a point A where AB is the diameter of the circle whose center is 2 minus 3 and B is 1, 4. So in this we have a circle and in this circle this, the, we have a diameter AB. So let's draw diameter. Now remember when we're drawing diameter it should pass to the center. So we have a point A here, we have a point B here and then the center is given to us. Say this is the center now. And this center, we call it as O. The center is given to us as 2 minus 3. Then the point B is given to us as 1, 4. So we'll write here 1, 4. However, the point A is not given to us. So we will take uh, your point A as, say, AB. We don't know the point AB. Now before we go to the sum, let's just revise our midpoint formula. If we have, like this, if we have AB, a segment where this is x1, y1, and this is x2, y2, and then we have its midpoint, say P, which is xy. Our x will always be equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and your y1 equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. This is only to be used when it is midpoint. Because in midpoint means P divides AB into two equal parts. The ratio is 1 is to 1. So the formula x equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2, y equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2, only for midpoint. So let us see now in the case of A, we have A, we have taken as A and B since we do not know the coordinates. So our X1 is A and your Y1 is B. And when it comes to B, our coordinates are 1 and 4. So our X2 is 1 and your Y2 is 4. And then we have the midpoint. O is the midpoint which is given as 2 minus 3. So for this X is 2 and your Y is minus 3. So this is X and Y. Here we have x2, y2, and here we have x1, y1. So let's start using it in the formula. So the first part, we, uh, we find the x-coordinate. We know x equal to x1 plus x2 over 2. Now to start, why can we, how can we use the midpoint formula in this a, b? Because we know O is the center, and OA and OB are radius. So OA equal to OB because they are the radii of that circle. So we can say O is midpoint of AB. So remember O is a midpoint of AB. So I can use a midpoint formula. The center of the circle is always the midpoint of the diameter. So when we come here we have X equal to now here X equal to X1 plus X2 by 2. So we know our x here was 2, right? Your x1 is here. A, your x2 is this. So it becomes a plus 1 divided by 2. And when we continue, we will get here 2 into 2 plus a plus 1. Do that again. So we have 2 into 2 equal to a plus 1. 4 equal to a plus 1 your a becomes 3. So we've done this. Now we found the x-coordinate. Let's get on to find the y-coordinate. Since o is the center, we write y equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Now we know the y is here, minus 3. So minus 3 equal to y1 plus y2. So here is your y1 and here is your y2. So b plus 4 divided by 2 minus 3 into 2 equal to b plus 4 minus 6 b plus 4 so minus 6 minus 4 equal to b your b becomes minus 10 for your answer now your a was 3 your b was minus 10 so the coordinates of a would have been 3 comma minus 10 so in this remember, the center of the circle is a midpoint of the diameter. Hence we could use a midpoint formula 
which says x equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y equal to y1 plus y2 divided by 2.